is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some authors that I just need to read from ASAP. Today I've chosen five authors that I have books from, I've heard they're really great authors, I really want to read from them, my own books by them or some of them I don't, but yes, let's just jump right into it. So first up here I have H.P. Lovecraft, which I don't own anything by him, it's kind of weird. You know it's weird that I don't own anything by him considering how much like um, horror and thrillers that I own and things like that, but I always talk about Poe and I love King, so like you guys are like read H.P. Lovecraft and like one of my friends really likes his work too. And I want to read from him so bad, just there's this particular edition of his work I want, but I'm like too cheap to buy it, so I've been stalling. But let me know what to start with for these authors, if you guys know. If you, like, if you guys can suggest where to start with any of these authors, let me know down- with these authors! I can't speak, let me know down below. <laughs> Another author that I have here is um, Sonia Manon, and she wrote When Dimple Met Rishi, and her other book, When, Tim when Twinkle- Twinkle something? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I've just heard she's a really good author and I like um, hearing about how much diversity and how fun her books are so I hope to get to one of them soon. Next here's one that I'm pretty pissed off about that I haven't read and that is Virginia Woolf. Julia, get on it. Like I have tried to read A Room of One's Own like 10 times, like I'm not even exaggerating. I tried to read this book so many times and I always make it like a quarter through or like half through and I just give up. Why? I don't know. So I have that one and then this one's a little short one too, it's called Liberty. And the quote on the back is like, here begins the freedom of the mind or rather the possibility that in the course of time the mind will be free to write what it likes. From an exploration of why women were bared from writing and under what condition they might break free. Her stuff is very feminist so like why haven't I read it? And then I also have Mrs. Dalloway which I haven't heard the greatest things about but it's just like the lives of a woman preparing for a party and a young man suffering from shell shock. Um, on one June day in 1920s London. So these just all sound amazing. So yeah. Next up here I have Margaret Atwood. Basically, I'm really sad about this because I'm Canadian. I haven't read any Margaret Atwood. Kind of sad. Um, but I own Surfacing and The Handmaid's Tale, which I'll probably start with The Handmaid's Tale first because I've heard such amazing things about it. It sounds really interesting, um, she has only one function to breed, um, this one deals with feminism too, I think. I've heard amazing things about it. The TV adaptation has received so many awards, so I really want to read some Margaret Atwood. Lastly here I have Donna Tartt, who I own in The Goldfinch and A Secret History. I'll probably read A Secret History first, just due to the fact that I've heard the best things about this and some of my friends really love it. And then the Goldfinch obviously won the Pulitzer Prize. It's huge. Like it's, well like it is huge too, but like it's very popular. So yes, I really want to read some Donna Tartt as well. So there you guys have it. Those are some authors that I want to read from. Let me know your top three authors that you guys want to read from that you haven't read from before in the comment section down below. And if you guys have read anything by these authors, let me know where you started or where you'd suggest starting or some authors that you're probably like just, you don't, don't even bother or some you like read them now so let me know all that stuff in the comments down below thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you super soon bye that was so stiff it was like uh -huh. the fragile, the broken,